All right, good morning. Welcome to your unique devotion in the woods. Um, I'm just going to take a second here. And uh, for those of you who know where we are, um, this is what we're surrounded by. And uh, let me see if I can get... It's really foggy. I think it's probably hard to see. But behind that tree is uh, Hood, I think it's Hood Cove, um, it's nothing but, yeah see it's too foggy, it's all water, it's waterfront and across behind the fog is the, uh, is another part of the island out there, um, and it's, it's gorgeous, uh, maybe tomorrow what I'll do is make the next video um, a little bit later in the day and uh, just get a good sense of the water but this is beautiful like the the air out here is amazing um, it's it's just we're having a lot of fun um, so anyway on that note uh, today I'll be reading uh, let's see if I can prop this up ah there we go let's do that so here we go. We're working it out. See, I don't, I don't edit these. It's just, it's live. This is how it goes. Um, I'll be reading First uh, Peter uh, chapter one, verses uh, three through twelve. It's entitled "A Heavenly Inheritance." So, if you've got your listening ears, ah, take a deep breath, breathe in that beautiful air for the morning. Here we go. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of salvation that is ready to be revealed at the last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proven genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him, and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets, who spoke of the grace that was to come to you, searched intently, and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you when they spoke of the things that have now been told you by those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels long to look into these things. Um, so that's the scripture. And uh, I hope that that is helpful. If you need to, please feel free to go back and uh, listen to it again. Um, we're looking for that God question. You know, what is he putting on your heart? Um, I also encourage you to break out your own Bible and uh, read First Peter uh, chapter 1 verses 3 to, through 12 on your own uh, throughout the day and um, just every time you read it it's going to get a little deeper <laughs> and uh, that God question will stand out more and more and more so I will leave you with this at sharing time do you understand do you grasp that the things which the Holy Spirit is trying to communicate to you 
are so important that even the angels desire to look at them. I want you to remember this. You were born. You were created for great things. On that note, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve today, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day.